this is Elena from the Burrett Public Library and I'm coming to you today from my home library because unfortunately of course our library is closed right now and one of the things that I really miss the most about being at the library is being able to connect with all of you about what you're reading. I love when you give me recommendations. I love being able to share the books that I'm reading with you and I figure just because we're closed right now doesn't mean we can't continue that conversation in a different way. Um, so I wanted to share with you today a trilogy that I just finished reading recently that I hope some of you would enjoy, and that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a YA, young adult, um, murder mystery trilogy, and the final book in this series was just released in January. And we do have all three books available at the library, which I know unfortunately you can't access right now. Um, but you can get these on the Cloud Library app. So as long as you have a compatible device with that app, then you can access these books right now. And this series um, really takes place across two different timelines. And in both timelines, we're trying to solve the same central mystery, which is what happened to the Ellinghams. So we meet the Ellinghams in our first timeline, which is 1936. And Albert Ellingham is a super mega rich business tycoon and he has just opened up a really exclusive academy in the woods of Vermont called Ellingham Academy and one night in 1936 his wife and his young daughter go missing they go out to run some errands and they never come back and on that same day a student is murdered and obviously there's a connection but he's not quite sure why and what's going on and he receives a letter that is a series of cut out letters from magazines and essentially it's a riddle that mocks him and, and outlines all the different ways that somebody uh, could be murdered and it's signed only truly devious um, that's how we get obviously the name of the series and it becomes known as the truly devious mystery and that connects to our present day story which is with a young girl named Stevie Bell and Stevie has just arrived at Ellingham Academy as a first-year student and her mission is to solve the Ellingham mystery she is gonna figure out what happened to Ellingham's wife and daughter, as well as that student that was um, murdered. And uh, she thinks she can do that just by being there at the scene of the crime. She is a mega true crime fan, and she thinks that she's got the, the knowledge to solve this cold case. Because unfortunately, back in the 30s, nobody could figure it out, and Mrs. Ellingham and Alice Ellingham were never seen again. So um, Stevie sets out to solve this mystery with the help of some of her kooky friends that she meets at school. And she's also dealing with some present day mysteries. Um, some students are being murdered on campus. So now the school is being threatened with being shut down because it's maybe too dangerous for students to be there. Um, so she's trying to solve both the past mystery and the mysteries happening in the present. And then you'll see how the stories kind of like intertwine as this as the trilogy goes on. This is a super fast paced series. Uh, I definitely recommend that if you pick up the first one that you are ready to dive right into books two and three because you're going to want to know what happens next. And I really praise Maureen Johnson for uh, explaining the solution to this mystery really, really well. I know in most mysteries that I've read, the solution seems to be something you only get in the final page or two and it's really rushed. And this is not the case with Truly Devious. She starts solving this mystery in book two and really takes her time explaining to you what happened in 1936 as well as what's happening in the present day. Um, so I really appreciated that and it's something that I hadn't seen like that sort of approach before. And this is really perfect for anybody who's a fan of Agatha Christie or uh, true crime shows. Uh, there's a lot of shows that Stevie Bell actually mentions because she's a fan of all of them. Um, she talks about like, the My Favorite Murder podcast, which I love, so I was really excited to see that mentioned in here. And this is also the, there's a lot of similarities between Stevie Bell and Nancy Drew, which was really exciting for me because Nancy Drew is my favorite favorite character of all time and unfortunately Nancy Drew has taught me nothing I was not able to solve this mystery myself I tried really really hard and I thought I came up with a great elaborate explanation and I was a hundred percent wrong um, so if you have read this series or if you decide to pick it up I would love to know if you were able to solve the mysteries in this book so that is what I have read recently that I really enjoyed, and I really hope that you'll give it a shot and you'll try it as well. Let me know what you think. And if you've been reading anything really interesting lately that you think I would enjoy, then please definitely share your recommendations with me. So until next time, happy reading, everybody. Mm -hmm.